Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, SliceOnBroadway.com. IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. Click the Fight TV link on WrestlingMayhemShow.com to support this show and watch pro wrestling, MMA, boxing, and so much more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash WrestlingMayhemShow. Sword? Hello? I'm here for the show. Hello? Hello? Missy? Anyone? What? Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Wait for the perfect time to attack. Don't give up what you want. Take it back. Ladies and gentlemen, it is the Wrestling Mayhem Show live from the Sorgatron Media Studios in the Beachview neighborhood right on Broadway in Pittsburgh, PA. Nobody knows what I'm pointing at. There's a window right here and cars going by in a train with hundreds of people and we wave at them every time. Uh, this is the show we talk professional wrestling, the flagship here at WrestlingMayhemShow.com for 11 plus years. We got a hell of a crew with us this week. First of all, on the line from Johnstown, PA is Bobby F. J. Town. Uh, I brought some friends with me this week. I can actually recreate the Festival of Friendship oh. with Pops now. You just made the list. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love Jericho and Kevin Owens. I love that he's holding a tiny list. That's amazing. <laughs> that is the best oh, thing oh, ever. Look at the back. Look at the back. It says goat on his tights. <laughs> And he has okay. a tattoo on, on the, his shoulder, which we were talking about earlier. From the front, you don't realize he's not really wearing clothes. Yeah, he is. It, like, he has, he has he's a scarf. He sure he has a scarf. That's that's <laughs> fine. You know, that's that's a thing. Oh, he does have a scarf. So, yeah, it doesn't light up though. But, they need uh, to make another glow in the dark one with him. <laughs> oh, jeez, I gotta see that. With one. his scarf or jacket. I really got to see that one. What's that? <laughs> Man, Mike just gave a show title. <laughs> That's Whoa. amazing. We we're not even like a minute into the show. What's the show title? Uh, uh, Booyaka Booyaka. <laughs> That's the address, isn't it? It's the, I think it's the address. Yes. Uh, oh. Ringside Rob is back with us with hey, a nice yes, backdrop man. of the entire rest of the office. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Look at this. Tell us. Tell us what. Tell us for the audio listeners what what they're seeing. About uh, the amazingness that is the rest of Sorgatron Media. Uh, a whole lot of kind of the, you know, the office space area here where, you know, we plan on putting some more stuff. You got the, <laughs> the Hulkster hanging and banging over <laughs> with, the, the, with the 1999 WCW logo on it, which is uh, pretty, pretty great. Um, and just a lot of, yeah, just a lot of empty wall space. But, hey, we'll, we'll get more up We're here We're working shortly. on that. We're working on that. Oh, and a pretty cool purple chair. That's, <laughs> that's, hanging. that's the intern's desk. Yeah, that's, yeah that's, 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 he just sits there. We don't give him a it's desk. Like, they have to earn it. It's Put like it. you go over there and you think about it. That's what. That's Put right. it. Yeah. You Put think it. about what you did. Yeah, you, there you go. You know what you did. <laughs> that's awesome. Also yeah. with us on the couch, we got, of course, Larry. Hello. Fresh off of seeing a different perspective of Monday Night Raw last night. That, yeah. 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 It was neat. What, what can you say? Um. Oh crap! I'm putting him on the spot. It, it, it was it was quieter backstage. Okay, yeah. <laughs> it's all we'll say right there. Um, of all the people around the show, yeah, did you expect him to be the one that gets backstage? I know, right? Yeah, <laughs> they, had some bar- they had some pretty awesome catering. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Finally, one of that's another somebody else has partaken in the, in the, in the catering, uh, and also with it, you probably noticed if you're on the video, there is Billy Ruxpin of uh, International Wrestling Cartel and of Black, Black Diamond Wrestling, and uh, what else have you that's been involved up? And that's it right now. That's it for uh, right now. New professional wrestler. I think he debuted in February. Yeah, February 25th. Officially, um, yeah. Proving ground. Was that proving ground? Six. Yeah, proving oh, ground. Yeah, that. you were there for that. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah! <laughs> oh geez! Uh, the first, the first time that I saw Billy good, as a pro wrestler is him coming through the the curtain <laughs> and yelling, "I'm real!" Yes. <laughs> Just yes. for a little background on what's going on. And by the way, they say in in the middle of the couch we got the sexy talented dudes. I don't know if you want to uh, uh, point to 
where you're at on there. Yes, that's the Goonies uh, kind of set up. There you are. You and the so king. Attractive in this photo. There you go. That's a wonderful <laughs> picture. Which one of you? Are you are you the are you the Carrie Green or the Martha Plimpton? Uh, <laughs> I want to say Carrie Green. Oh, yeah. that's, that, that picture, like, I know I know there's, there's like, present and past kind of going on there, but I realize how big your faction is. Yeah. Were, were you all fighting over who got to be Feldman? <laughs> no, I didn't that's, know this uh, was happening. It just happened one show, and I was like, oh, crap, we got more. <laughs> I have merch. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we're going to be, of course, talking with him on the Indie Mayhem show, so if you're on the live stream, stick around for that after this, or check out the live feed, or I'm sorry, the subscribe to the feed on iTunes or wherever you catch the indie mayhem show or uh, wms super feed um on on itunes or or uh, the google music or anything like that this wrestling mayhem show you can check out wrestling mayhem subscribe to that and all the rest of the shows including the midweek wars talking about lucha underground and 205 live and some other show called nxt uh and the the raw wrap up we're no we're not either having a date or going uh out to monday night raw ourselves we do that podcast as well and they're all at wrestling show.com subscribe to this show on itunes stitcher spreaker iheart radio and video versions on the youtube and the facebook page for wrestling mayhem show we're here live tuesdays every tuesday 10 p.m. Eastern Time at live.wrestlingmayhemshow.com. That usually takes you to the Facebook page where we're live on our Facebook page. Live. Facebook Live. Live. Live, live, live. live. I, I'm falling apart. I'm falling apart and I'm crossing. Do it live. Oh, boy. Uh, anyways. I understand <laughs> it's <it> live. live. <laughs> yeah. uh, also, you can drop us a line at that, a line, a line at that, that email address. Good times. Good times at WrestlingMayhemShow.com or the hotline of 412-206-WMS0. Um, and also, thank you to our Patreon supporters. There's so much going on. Where would you send me that message? <laughs> our Patreon supporters including Bo Diggity! Woo! Woo! It sounds pretty cool with the echo in here so far. Uh, but uh, <laughs> and, uh, and and of course our other Patreon supporters, including the Matthew and Jennifer Carlin's uh, uh, Foundation for Podcast Betterment, Tragar. Uh, where is that message at? There they are. Ed Burke, uh, as well as Bobby F J Town. That's you, Bobby. Hi, I'm here. <laughs> Our friends at Power to the Sparks, Alexander Cars, uh, as well as Tina Keys, um, uh, uh, Christopher Bishop, and Brandon out there. Thank you so much for supporting the show at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. If you have the uh, $5 level Pocky Club, we, we did record yesterday a state of the show. Talk a little bit about what's going on here in this new studio. Um, and you can go check that out over on, on the Patreon page if you're on that line when that uh, pops up here. Is that is that out yet? Did we determine? Did you is that posted yet? What did I do today? I, oh, I'm, I'm just asking you because context. Um, so look for that very soon when we're not moving Chachi. Uh, but uh, <laughs> anyways, um, let's get into chatting about wrestling uh, uh like i said uh, last night was raw here in town and i know we didn't really I'm have so sorry <laughs> but no so no 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 okay this is where this is where i <laughs> this is where i have the, the mad mike conversation bobby um because we had two hours of an amazing raw oh yeah can you yeah. if you stopped at 10 15 you cannot can you say that that was not a great raw i honestly thought 10 15 was the main event well, you slept through the rest of it. That's uh, irrelevant because that match ended, and it's like after. it's almost like it was the overrun. That's yeah. yeah. That's what. It, that, that's why I, th- I thought it was da- like I woke up and I forgot to reset my clocks for daylight savings time, and I was late for work. Yeah, <laughs> like, absolutely. I was absolutely. panicking. Um, but uh, I mean, we, we we between the triple threat and everything, um, you know, there's a stream uh, that we posted last night, uh, walking down past the arena with uh, Matt Carlin's. And the crowd last night uh, talking about it, but uh, everyone was sleepwalking. Everyone was sleepwalking because <laughs> they got put to sleep in that 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 last. Um, the Hardys were were very over last night. Uh, uh, Kurt Angle, yes, I'm rocking a new Kurt Angle Steel City shirt because you have to represent the Pittsburgh. Did they sell those listener shirts? They did sell the listener shirts. Yeah, where, on one of the, which was interesting since he was unannounced, that. and uh, so it's like that was your first clue if you went to the merchandise stand. Where where were the Jason Jordan shirts? 
I did not see the Jason Jordan <laughs> shirts. Have you seen the Jason Jordan shirts? No, I haven't. It, it, there's, a, there's a I picture. I feel like there should be some. Well, there is one. I don't know where you can get it yet. If somebody could check WWE shop for me, but it you have says to be an Angle family member. It, 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 it says it, it was something, you know, no, yeah, it, well, they're the ones that have it, right? It was something like a uh, uh, blood of gold or golden something blood like or golden something. Blood. Yeah, blood. Yeah, yeah. so oh, like on that line. Yeah, he had a um, <laughs> he had a family photo. It was him and like his <laughs> his family with Kurt Angle, and it, it yeah. showed that shirt. It was it was a pretty cool shirt. I might get it. <laughs> I can't wait to see their Christmas card. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody said on Twitter they just want like him like this angle to continue and him to be at like every angle family function, like him at Thanksgiving, him at Christmas, him at like Arbor Day, planting a tree with Kurt. Now, now, now he's not having a lot of luck with family members to get involved in wrestling stuff. Is uh, is he eventually <laughs> going to be adopted by Jeff Jarrett? <laughs> just ask Braun Strowman. It's gonna be <laughs> What? I heard he backed down from Karen Jarrett at a in a bar because he would he wouldn't give their kid uh, Angle's kid an autograph. <laughs> what? Oh, or her her Jason kid Jordan. with Angle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jason Jordan wanted an autograph <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> from Braun Strowman. It's like Braun. Now that I'm on Raw, can I have your autograph? <laughs> and Braun got out of his ambulance. Enough mm-hmm. time to write the autograph out. It's great. Uh, uh, I <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen with this Jason Jordan stuff, but man, we are having fun with it. Uh, you know, like every time Jason Jordan's on TV, they have the trending now Jason Jordan, right? Was that a good segment? Uh, the Miz TV? Yeah, it was actually, was I it? thought. He, 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 he suplexed him into other guys. <laughs> like, didn't he take... like suplex Miz into yeah, the, the rest it, of the Miz Taraj? Yeah, into the yeah. Miz Taraj. Yeah. So, I mean, I thought that was a pretty cool finish, finish off of that. But, I mean, it was, I mean, it was a good talk. It was, it was, you know, Miz being a dick and Jason Jordan being kind of interesting, right? He's and uh, defending the honor of his, his completely real dad. Um, <laughs> totally real. His legit, totally legit real. old man. Legit. I mean, <laughs> just legit old man. Yeah. <laughs> I, I really want to go with that idea of, of them just like family functions, but they're like very Pittsburgh like family functions. Just like pictures of like like Angle and Jason Jordan having a Permani sandwich, you know. Uh, going to Picklesburg next year. Going to Picklesburg holding the balloons, right? <laughs> uh, you know, I mean. Doing the pierogi race at PNC Park. Yeah, yeah. that's right. That's right. <laughs> Is, oh my! They're already so busting out wrestling moves at the pierogi race. The, last the picture night. at the top of yeah, Mount Washington. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. The, <laughs> then went to the fountain to take a picture. Yeah. <laughs> dunks, dunks Jason's head in. You know, I mean, yeah, you know, as you do, as you do. Um, but you know, I mean, uh, they can have a lot of fun with that. I, I, I it's. I'm hoping they keep tongue in cheek with this thing, and I also hope Chad Gable just gets more and more pissed off. You know, as as Daniel Bryan keeps making fun of uh, uh, paternity tests. On oh tout. my god! I <laughs> so, died. That was so have, funny. have we not he used what's that? He used he used his former best friend's father's finishing move on SmackDown tonight. Chad Gable did. He used the ankle and the ankle the ankle lock. Hadn't he been there already? The moonsault from top rope. Did he? Oh, that'd be great yeah. if we just have angsty Chad Gable over this entire situation. You know what? I <laughs> bet it's going to happen. They're going to find out that the paternity test was wrong and Chad Gable's really his kid. And they got Oops, s- like something was they switched. Yeah, they mixed up. Like they, yeah, they just swapped it. Yeah. yeah. What's that, Bobby? They need to bring Maury in for that or at least Steve Harvey. No, uh, Dr. Phil. <laughs> Dr. Phil, Dr. Phil, you, you, you got perfect. Jerry Springer on tap with this stuff. Ooh. Hey, hey, Bobby, can you reconnect? That's We're getting awesome. a little bit of a, a sure. ske- uh, sketchiness with Sally Jesse right Raphael. Sally Jesse Raphael. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. that's his God. part. That's his parting gift is, is Sally Jesse Raphael. By the way, <laughs> or it's like really, you know, you start doing the Jenny Jones, Ricky Lake, you know, just yeah. going down yeah. the ring. Yeah, I think Queen Latifah <laughs> had a show at some point. Who's the lady Absolutely. that won the Tempest Bledsoe? <laughs> Who's the lady that got the Warrior Award? Uh, Joan London. Joan London. <laughs> Jeez. Good morning, America's Joan London. Yes, yeah, Kathy Lee. Um, <laughs> Kathy Lee. Hot drunk, 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 yeah, drunk Kathy Lee, right, Bobby? Oh, yep. No, Ashton Kutcher. Worst, 
as a worst guy. segment in raw history. Pee Wee Herman. Um, oh, I, I think we yeah, Pee Wee Herman. Yes, uh, I guess we do need a wrestling related. Um, I was sad to see um, last night on Facebook. Uh, apparently, Bob Barker passed. Oh, did no, he? Didn't. Did he? Didn't? No, oh, he didn't. Oh, wait, that's, that's, that's fake. That's false. I thought I so, knew it. about it. Obviously, fake news sword. Son of oh. a bitch. Thank you, um, because obviously he's immortal. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, you're going to have to cut his damn head off at this point. Yeah. Uh, so. There can be only one Still McLeod. Alive, <laughs> no, no dog or cat is safe. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely, like he's one of those shitty vampires that just just, just drinks any blood that's that's, a, that's around. It's <laughs> right, um, and of course uh, tonight hey, we were just watching here and, and, and kind of getting into on SmackDown. Uh, John Cena and Shinsuke Nakamura. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, has this been a this has been a hell of a week for uh, uh, matches on TV? Um, but uh, uh, which ended with yes. kind of the. Scarier finishes, I think we've seen in a while. Yeah. Um, he'll be out for six months. He'll be out for six months. You yeah, think so? I mean, no, no. I mean, I'm sure he was going to be out for six months. Yeah, anyways, I was going to say, but... how long does it take to film that Transformers movie? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he, he has to play Mirage, by the way. He has to what? He has to play Mirage. He has to play Mirage. Is that his character name? No, 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 no. Mirage is the one that it, could go invisible because yeah. oh. you can't yeah. see. You him. can't see. You can't see him. Of so. <laughs> there you go. Play Mirage. Dude, I love Shinsuke's googly <laughs> eyes. They did. At the beginning of the match, saying, oh, I, didn't saying I could see you. <laughs> I missed the beginning of the match, <laughs> unfortunately. Uh, but hey. he, he just he like he did that head thing that he does, mm-hmm. like right against his chest, and then he backed up to the other corner. He's just like, <laughs> <laughs> I would say, you know, I mean, two years ago, we're like, hey, you're going to see Shinsuke Nakamura, that guy from Wrestle Wrestle Kingdom, um, on SmackDown against John Cena one week. You know, um, but hey, hey, good. They're, they're, uh, I think they're, so we're going to get Jinder and Shinsuke. Wrap your head around that for a second. I didn't even do, I didn't even get, have a chance to. <laughs> so, yep. Um, and I'm already predicting a finish. What are you, what are you thinking? Um, oh, you want to do predictions now? Are you, I, I'm curious if you're, you're already kind of leaning towards I it. I think, I think that, uh, Corbin's going to cash in at the end of the match. We, what do you think? Shinsuke wins and we get a mm. cash in? Yeah. I could see that. Actually, that makes a lot of sense. Mm. That makes a whole lot of sense, actually, with the way they've been going with things. Um, but, uh, yeah. Uh, what, uh, <laughs> what? Anything else from SmackDown or anything you guys uh, or, or Raw that really stuck out to you guys other than the, the hot beef match that was the, the three-way last night? I haven't listened to Matt Carlin say, just saying, look at that beef in there hitting each other. <laughs> 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 it really is. Like, when's the last time we had it, like, like, this year, before this year, like, just, like, so happy to see big guys punching each other in and, the head. And Roman was, like, the smallest guy in the match, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Joe? Well, I mean, my, I don't know. I mean, different body types, but I don't know if. Joe's bulkier, but, like. Yeah. yeah. I think the last time he had a match like that was when Ryback faced the big show. What? Honestly. Yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah. That was the last I, I just don't get why. <laughs> Remember when, uh, was it a few months ago when it was like Big Show and Braun? And they're oh, like, they, oh my God, we got to reinforce the, the ring. blah, blah, blah. You, you know, it's like, yeah. what do they do when there's like just any other match? When it's just like a tag team match or, <laughs> or a three way? Meanwhile, or for, for Big Battle Show or, weighs as much or, as Lesnar. Or is it all about the concentration of weight? Like, oh, there's. 800 pounds on this, this one spot. Speaking of things the commentators say, has did anybody watch Bring It to the Table last night? I did not. They were no. making I fun did. of JBL because <laughs> there, yes. there was, okay, so apparently the discussion yeah. online because they like to talk about, you know, the internet wrestling community on that show, mm-hmm. uh, you know, says about, uh, you know, are there agendas and words that, that are recommended during a match you know and, and things like that and uh what like is, the word structure which words are banned like which words yeah. are banned which are like but, but like the word structure during the Pujambi prison match yeah. and they yep. did a super cut of every time the 68 times that the word structure was yeah. used <laughs> during the Jeez. Punjabi nice. prison match <laughs> So JBL was heated. <laughs> JBL <laughs> was, was him saying it most of the time. Well, I guess if you're gonna piss JBL off, it's best to do it on the record, where <laughs> you know, yeah. like it's like so that everybody yeah. can see what 
happened? What led to yeah. that? You know, yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Why, he, why you're kicked out of the locker room? Even talked about yeah. Miz yeah. Out yeah. Of the locker room. What's that, Bobby? He even talked about Miz getting kicked out of the locker room. Yeah, he talked like, about oh, Miz was the only one that lasted the entire time. Yeah, he yeah. came back and became a thing. Yeah, exactly. Because they're talking about Enzo and stuff. Like, I, 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 that, that show is interesting. Mm. but weird at the same time because they get into issues about how like Enzo is not liked because he's Enzo 24-7. I could see that. But, I would be getting annoyed by but, that. But, but it's interesting that they talk about it openly on the show on the network. Yeah. But then like they that. do they go right back to like angle kind of kayfabe stuff after kind of like what you know like when you see the Hall of Fame and they were going into all the real life comp- accomplishments you know yeah, like yeah. say of DDP and then it's like Oh, and and then he fought back the NWO. You know, and it's like that's not even. You know, well, okay, that's, okay. That, that's not even. You know, but when they say stuff like that, they're the same, they're saying yeah. that in the context of remember he's the guy that did this. Yeah. Like like you know, it's like saying but you when re- they flip the switch back from okay, right. we're talking real life now. It's like total. It's like talk, you re- you, know? you remember and you list the accomplishments of Arnold Schwarzenegger, mm-hmm. you know, governor of this, uh, did this, this charity, and he's the guy that defeated the T one thousand, and yeah. you know, you <laughs> like like that's how you say it because like those are those aren't yeah. like like that's why I voted for him. Yeah, just yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> those aren't accomplishments in things that he did and accomplished. Yeah, but those are th- also memories of what you know yeah, him. It's like for. yeah, it's what you know him for. Right. Yeah. It, it's uh, it, it, you know you, you so you know you uh, look like Kurt Angle right. Mm-hmm. He accomplished this in his personal life and this this and this mm-hmm. and he's Olympic hero and transitioned into wrestling and then you remember him for tiny cowboy hats, tiny and cowboy yeah, hats and this and this and this you know it's not you know (laughs) here's the entertainment things that he did versus the the Mm -hmm. physical accomplishments or life accomplishments or anything like that so i mean yeah it gels together but i don't know if you call it kind of a a kayfabe thing but um it's just kind of when it all gets mentioned in the same breath yeah absolutely absolutely i was a back car and saying uh it was like three pieces of ham fighting (laughs) in that in that match three hands will thrill him three (laughs) <laughs> Three little piggies. I forget. I, I, was, I was talking to him or or Billy because it was interesting because the Carlinses is all went to Erie for a house show Saturday night. Billy Johnson went to Youngstown for a house show, which means they relatively saw the same show uh, in two different locations. Um, but they, you know, they're, they're, one of them was talking about like you know you look at uh, Roman and and Braun, they didn't really do much technically <laughs> except punch each other for 20 minutes but it's amazing because it works and everybody is just so unbelievably yeah. into them and if you can get away with that yeah. you know yeah, it's like why, why? hey imagine for the bigger matches it's like oh yeah maybe they can start busting out more moves and then it's more impressive in a, in a sense you know like i can't wait for braun to do that shooting star press off the top yeah just right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right. You know, he's going to bust that out of WrestleMania, you know, because they completely haven't banned it since that time Brock tried it. That would be it. awesome, though. Yeah, it's going to turn out that, like, he's just some technical say, genius. That just, Shane like, did one at WrestleMania. Yeah, that's true, but yeah. he's, but he's Shane. It's okay now. It's Shane. okay now. Yeah. It's like a springboard. For he brought it back. Yeah, just. <laughs> was he the first one that brought back the crossface? I can't remember. Like, you have to be related to bring back something like that, right? No, I, I want to say uh, it was like Michael's Ke- that brought back the crossface or something. Kevin Owens did that, didn't he? Hmm? Kevin Owens? He did that. He was the most recent. Oh, recently. One yeah, but oh, I mean, like, yeah. the first one afterwards. Oh, really? It, it like, had to be I somebody that was absolutely bulletproof. Without getting fired. Yeah, yeah. We're like, hey, this is cool again, guys, right? Yeah. Yeah, we'll see about that, right? Um, but uh, Price is right rules when it comes to that move. <laughs> the first person to do it without getting over. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But, yeah, no, it, 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 it's incredible seeing that in person. You know, I'm always – one, I, 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 I watched Raw with a kid the entire night. That it was just it, – it was, it, was, uh, it was Mason's first Raw. He's been to some indie shows, been to IWC, he's been to some other things um, that are much smaller than IWC. He looked mesmerized in he was, those photos. Uh, yeah. Did you see the picture? I, I can't even remember who came out, if it was Brock or, or who it was, where he was just like, actually, I think it was the Hardys that he was just like, ah! <laughs> And 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 to see that, you know, it, 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 I always, I know, I have the same conversation every time we come around on these, but it's just like, uh, you know, it kind of reminds you, you know, why why you get into wrestling, so. Uh, it was the Hardy Boys, Matt confirms. He was talking about the Hardy Boys coming into it, and we're just like, yep, 
just like the last 20 years the hardy boys guys but this kid is just like completely into it so now did what did they bring him to the night of superstars show mm, no because i was gonna no. say if any of that like you know just because it's been so long since it was a court on. time show they were at for oh. iwc okay you know? so i mean that's so little, i was gonna say if there's that familiarity bigger. of of having you know oh yeah like yeah. i met those guys or yeah yeah mm-hmm. so yeah. But, i mean this this kid mm-hmm. has had the opportunity to meet several superstars yeah. at this point mm-hmm. because of reasons um <laughs> but uh so so i mean he has that kind of relationship mm-hmm. but he's still like way into it um, so it, it's really cool to see. Um, apparently Chris Jericho was dropping F bombs of fans outside the arena. Is that tonight? I did not hear about that. Brandon, he was there tonight. Um, yeah, he wasn't on show. Hey. Was he? I missed the first thing. I, I don't know. I didn't. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, one comment for a few minutes I saw of SmackDown. Please tell me Shane being a guest referee at SummerSlam will not lead to KO versus Shane at Hell in a Cell. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Probably, I yeah. don't think they would do that at Hell in a Cell, right? <laughs> I don't think they right? might. <laughs> they could. They could. What? I, you know, as much as... Okay, looking at the last couple of months and how much uh, they've been putting over gimmick matches to sell their uh, in-between pay-per-views. I think Hell in the Cell is a raw pay-per-view. Though. God, how many more do we have between now and then? It was last year. <laughs> between now and Hell in a Cell? Yeah. I see. think it's the one after SummerSlam. That one's usually October, I thought. As the okay, I remember from like October. Hmm. That seems to make sense. Because it will, Helen sells October, yeah, but I can't remember what the hell the raw. Well, that, that was a raw <laughs> pay per view, but there had to be another one between SummerSlam. Oh, and you know, so I, I, I wonder if we're getting a Night po- of Champions. Maybe? I wonder if we get into no, a that point. Was a raw pay per view. I wonder if we get into a point where it, they do the schedule oh, in yeah. such a way that maybe it's a raw pay per view one year, mm-hmm. and then it's a SmackDown the next year. Switch so yeah, that's what yeah. I was everybody kind of gets a chance to do the 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 fun matches. Um, I think SmackDown's been getting all the crazy stipulation ones. It they? feels like that, and then, got, and then but the, but I mean, Battleground could have been anything, and they threw the yeah. Punjabi Prison and a flag match. In but there. but they had Money in the Bank. Did they have Extreme they had, Rules or was that they had, no? They had Elimination Chamber. Oh, that's though. right. Yeah, they had. Till, oh, they, that's right. Because Extreme Rules was Raw, and that's when yeah. you had the you know it's so extreme that there was no Dean extreme. can't lose by disqualification. You know, there was no <laughs> extreme matches. Like, yeah, nothing. no, no. no Great Balls of Fire was, was more extreme. Also had yeah. real blood. So yeah, uh, <laughs> Tina's mentioning Rob will have no mercy in September in L.A. Mm. Um, <laughs> also, Dave had a comment I wanted to read. Said, "Nope, that's a WrestleMania match with the uh, Owens and and Shane." I think he was talking about. Um, <laughs> On a completely unrelated note, uh, next T show in LA is a week from tomorrow, and Alex can't wait. Uh, Raw will get TLC in October. Huh. Or did Raw get? They got TLC. They didn't get. Year. No, they didn't. It was uh, Roadblock. Or no, was that? No, that was a Raw pay per view. Was Roadblock? Which Roadblock? Wasn't it? Oh wait, yeah, because SmackDown did get TLC. <laughs> there were five of them because that had like because we had because that's where we had we had something. Sasha and Bailey at the uh, Children's Hospital that time. What TLC yeah, was they in were the Raw. spring last year? Right? No, no was... that's always December. Are you sure? Welcome to We Try to Remember the uh, pay per view schedule <laughs> there podcast. Are too many I damn that, shows. I thought they had TLC <laughs> and then like, the following week they had Elimination Listen, Chamber. Listen, there's a like Wikipedia that. page for this. We can solve this. What, it's we... like WWE's Who's On First. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, anyways, there's got to be um, like 20 different pay per views at this point. The, the, the thing we're getting to it, right? Yeah. But, uh, but again, it's just like. All right, is there is a wrestling too? <laughs> I, I like when they pop in with the when they decide like, hey, this Madison Square Garden ha- show, we'll, we're okay. going to throw it on the network. That okay. kind of stuff. That's but, great. But when? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> When's the last time they did that? Uh, a few months ago, maybe. Uh, last year, early, maybe when they did the first roadblock, and and was, that yeah, there was that is is that is that not an experiment for them to see if we would digest more than the pay per view schedule already had? I don't know. I thought like it, when they did that, that was when like we were talking about that first roadblock. It was. Almost like, oh my God, are they going to put the belt on Dean before Mania? Yeah, you know, like it seemed almost like a they're up to something if they're doing, <laughs> you know, like they were going to make a major change. Yeah, where's this Mania. weird show coming but from? But then they right? ended up not doing, you know, it was just another show. But the way it kind of popped up out of nowhere, it was like, oh, it felt more important. But if it was a regularly scheduled thing, it, it might not have seen it. It, it. it was a glorified Saturday Night's Main event. Yeah. <laughs> you know, which uh, well, some of these pay-per-views feel like they're becoming absolutely. Mm-hmm. So, um, but I mean, hey, we get uh, still, 
And I think that's when we when we look at these, we're like, that was a horrible pay per view, and so many matches didn't end and stuff. It's like, no, but there's some good moments in them. Mm-hmm. They're not going to be a top to bottom, you know, great finishing a bunch of storyline. Uh, 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 hell, WrestleMania isn't even anymore, right? Um, I mean, it's just it's just the next chapter in everybody's story, and and I think I don't know. I think I think we don't. I guess we want conclusions, right? Mm-hmm. And um, we're not going to get a lot of them. We're just going to get pushed to the next thing. What happened with Miz and uh, Ambrose? Did that just sizzle out? They just pulled the plug on that. We just Finally. moved on. Uh, we have. There's no. We have the the Seth. We have the Seth and Dean um, days of our man's... lives happening in the yeah. back. You, you know, know they're going to mega power in that the... situation. They're going to win the title. I don't tag oh, yeah. reluctant. Oh yeah, Cause, absolutely. Because didn't Miz say something like, "Oh, now that I've basically extinguished Dean, Am- you know, Dean Ambrose," even though that didn't even really happen. Jason no, Jordan's it, also going to win. Just gets got, I think they got their butts kicked. <laughs> yeah, in a tag match. That was yeah. the last thing that happened. And then that was it. <laughs> There's your resolution in a tag match, not with the uh, title. Uh, play so, playa. Yeah. Play <laughs> well, on that note, uh, hey, I want to give a shout out to our friends at Slice on Broadway. Um, our good buddies have been supporting Pittsburgh Podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza for a good long time now. Uh, so they're right here up the street on Broadway. So go check them out if you're in the area. They're also down in Carnegie, PA, down on Main Street, as well as PNC Park, home of the Pittsburgh Pirates, which we learned on Awesome Cast last week is also a part of, is it Uber Eats, I think? So if you live on, on that side of town or actually any part of town, you can you can go get your slice on. Bobby, you should see if Uber Eats will, will bring you some slice on Broadway. I can't tell you how much it's going to cost you. First but one's free, right? It'll be worth it. It'll be worth it? Bobby, It'll be worth Bobby, it. Bobby, I want you to try to Uber eat some slice on Broadway and let us know how it goes. I will do that. <laughs> the future is here, Sword. This will be a good one. So check them out, slice on the Broadway. The next best thing to fax in me a piece of pizza. <laughs> exactly uh we can just you know send a car for it um so i you're gonna have to rewarm it unfortunately but it'll get there it's all right we completely brought a cold piece of pizza i to, feel like to ricky rich <laughs> <laughs> check him out Thanks. send me a piece of pizza tell him the mayhem show the sent you check him out slice on broadway.com and we'll be right back after this with the big question Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at SidekickMediaServices.com. <laughs> we are back. It is the Wrestling Mayhem Show here with, of course, Ringside Rob, video extraordinaire at your local indie show or or uh, not local indie show because he goes to Cleveland too. I go to Cleveland sometimes. Who, who all do you, who all are you working with these days? With, uh, well, IWC, mm-hmm. occasionally RWA. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, Dombrowski's PC Up Premier Championship Wrestling, which also does the welterweight wrestling over in Cleveland. Yeah. Um, I haven't I haven't done a lot for them for a while, but I've got a couple coming up in the fall, and those are always fun. And I'm hoping to to get to do more with that to make those shows look a little better. So, <laughs> yeah. Well, it's a pretty like low budget, you know, yeah, kind of yeah. stripped down. Yeah. Uh, I yeah. just want to make it more like on visually purpose. appealing on purpose. To, so, to people that aren't there live. To, absolutely. To see it. yeah. It's always about about translating, you know, that energy in the room, right? Mm-hmm. To, to to out there, and they do well. They do they do very well. They're on Indie Wrestling at US. If you want to mm-hmm. check out Premier Championship Wrestling and the. Uh, Welterweight the, wrestling, yeah, the welterweight wrestling available on indiewrestling.us. <laughs> it's yeah, it's pretty good. That was a All pretty right. good show from back in back in May where we actually did it as a live eye pay per view, which is the yeah, first time you got I the ever work. Did that, so. You got to work with the great Mike Moran. Yeah, they were pretty cool. Who took a break from doing all that MMA live streaming all over the country to mm-hmm. do uh, to do the welterweight wrestling. Who we've I've worked with on. I think on, that that was the last leg of like a very long weekend for, for, him. for them. Oh, I yeah, think. Yeah, 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 yeah. He he's. He's like, yep, yeah, gotta be in Nashville by the morning yeah. from Cleveland, mm-hmm. you know, or from another thing in New York that night. I, I don't even know how this guy does this. It must be nice when you have like several people in the vehicle though, I, that yeah, can drive. I, and, I'm pretty. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, not several. I don't know. I don't know but, about that. I, but I, I mean, sometimes I don't, know, just, I don't. I don't know if I would trust somebody else driving with like all my gear in a trailer behind. Yeah, us. You know what I mean? Too, yeah. So, um, but I mean, sometimes just the drive to Cleveland for me, it's like two hours, and it feels like too long. <laughs> 
sometimes, but it's just me in the car. <laughs> but it's an interesting thing because you're just like, you know, uh, like like you go to the show and realize some of those people just like took up Greyhound up here from Texas. Yeah. <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you know. Or or like when, when we did the Clearfield show a couple months back, it was like me and Riz. And I think that the way back, it was just like, Oh, talk me killing. dude talk me those keep are, me awake <laughs> those are near deadly sometimes when yeah. i go up there but hey you know what else you can see on indie wrestling.us is billy ruxpin yeah his uh entire iwc career is up there i can say that with confidence oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> he's like is it <laughs> wait what like, sure you yes. can see me yeah. <laughs> you can't see him <laughs> oh, oh. Oh jeez! <laughs> so that we did say you're working with a company. So what's what's the longest road trip you've done so far? Clearfield. Clearfield. Oh no, no that is actually not true. I was um, I didn't work I didn't work this show, but I was helping Ring of Honor in Deer Dearborn, in Michigan. 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 Yeah, that's a trip. That's, that's like yeah. what five five hours? Four and a half. It's four like and four, half. four and a half. It was yeah. it was a fun trip. Wait, wait, wait. Where is it on the hand? Right, point to the hand. Wait, no point. Okay. There. Okay. That's not bad. That's, right that's not bad. That's near Toledo. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little bit. It's, it's a like little Toledo north. and like. What yeah. <laughs> like is this move? <laughs> Go up and over. Up and over. Uh, and also, uh, hey, Larry's with us. He's a Michiganer. Yeah. He's the uh, Motor City machine gun of this crew. Wow. With your bomb. Hell of a nickname. You, that's the tag team. Really, that's a tag team. Yeah, and that's when they came out, they point. <laughs> okay. When they came out, they pointed their hand in Detroit. I'm What's on the wrong. Your I, I, thought, I thought you were <laughs> in on one? it. Is it this one? <laughs> yeah, I thought you were. That's like that. That, that should have been your team. Oh, Alex Shelley. Got the main, and, uh, and then you've got the Peninsula. Are they good? Yeah. No. Yeah. Uh, yeah. They're freaking. I don't know okay. What they're doing I'm, these I'm days. Okay with it. <laughs> one of them, one of them's in Japan, and what was Saban? Uh, the Saban was in TNA last, right? Or TNA GFW Impact. I can't remember when all those guys. And then who's who's running with them now? Like Gresham and Jay White, I think. Are yeah. Is that it? Rhino, Rhino's from Dearborn. Rhino's from Dearborn. Search and Destroy or yes. Seek and Destroy. He was yeah. running, he was running for those, Congress in Dearborn. That, oh, that's, that's where it was. Okay. What was that, Bobby? Bobby of J-Town's with us, too. Search, they're either Search and Destroy or Seek and Destroy. Oh, yeah. It's the Machine Guns, Gresham, and uh, Jay White. Hmm. Yeah. And formerly, I think Leo Rush was in it, but now he's gone. I, I, I we're going Ring of Honor, but uh, I, uh, you know, Jay, Jay White. I, I, I saw it a couple of tapings, and I'm just like, I don't get it. I don't get why everybody's behind this guy. Then I saw him at Super Indie, so and it's uh, awesome. And mm-hmm. it was just like, all right, he laughed at all right, I get it now. He yeah. Joke. He what? Laughed at my joke. He laughed at your joke. What a Super <laughs> Indie. Yeah, when I was talking I, to him I, and, Kurt, and uh, Colt Cabana. I love, I love. Bobby still has great fan <laughs> moments at the indie shows. I do that. I, do. I put them the that I put him to work on, and then, <laughs> and then and then Bobby comes up and he's like, "Do you think I can I can talk to so and so about signing this thing?" I'm like, "Dude, Bobby, just go do it. You're here. You're with me. And it's fine. Yeah. It's fine. It's okay." Rhino didn't sign my thing. No, Rhino didn't sign your thing. So we had RC. Yeah, and then RJ City. Correct. So we had RJ so. City uh, do it. Um, Bobby, I heard you have some uh, beef with uh, Chris Larusso. Oh yes, uh, yeah. We won't talk about that. <laughs> what do you mean we won't <laughs> talk about pipe. that? He threatened to hit me with a pipe, and there's photographic evidence. There is, there is. <laughs> <laughs> and I apologize prof- prof- profusely. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, it is time for the big question. Eventually, we'll get to that. And we had a good one uh, come up. I think this was from the chat room. Was it from Mike in the chat room? From Mike in the chat room. Uh, Mad Mike of, of the Mad Variety. Of the midweek war and the raw wrap ups. Um, what did I state? <laughs> which, which, so, so there's a lot of stuff going on between UFC, WWE, challenging each other, talking, talking shit on each other. And, uh, you know, Brandon remind me that uh, uh, Cyborg uh, recently called out Becky Lynch, is what is the latest of it. Um, of course, everything with Colin McGregor. Colin McGregor? Connor. Connor, Connor, Connor McGregor. Right. See, this is how into UFC I am. Yeah. Um, John Jones called out Brock Lesnar. Yeah. Oh really? Yeah. Oh yeah, that, that's right. They were talking about that last night. Yep. But anyways, um, so so the big question is, you know, and, and we're kind of going both ways because some some of us don't really know UFC people. And, yeah, I presume most of us know wrestling people. Who would you like to see cross over next? We've seen our CM Punks, our Brock Lesnar's, um, and and the people coming coming back uh, this way uh, for for wrestling. But who would you like to see cross over either to the UFC from the WWE or UFC to to WWE, which I think is the more interesting side of things, right? 
Um, yeah. But uh, because I just feel like anybody's just going to get destroyed in the UFC ring. Everybody's going to get punked in my mind. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but then you might find out that some guys are just like maybe more legit fighters than you would ever yeah, think. Yeah, you know? yeah, I guess so. You like, know, like the whole. Well, he ended up getting just destroyed later on. Hey, let's throw on, Braun but, Strowman. Yeah, I'll but, give mine. But let's like, get Braun Strowman but, in a UFC but, ring against anybody. But I think of the Brawl for All, where it was like <laughs> Bart Gunn that won that thing. When it was like, <laughs> you know, it was supposed to be like Steve Williams, that you know, Dr. Death, that was supposed to just like mow through That's everybody. what we're leading to. Aren't we leading yeah. to? Isn't this so, just is all? Is Bart Gunn your uh, pick for the UFC? No, nah, he's, uh, he's a little long in the tooth now, probably. Um, <laughs> oh, I'm still not sure he ever regained consciousness after he WrestleMania 15. <laughs> But yeah, like twenty years ago. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. He did like Japan stuff for a while, right? That was very I UFC. I, I, he I probably had to leave MMA <laughs> focus or something <laughs> like that. What, what, uh, Missy, Missy, what's going on? You're you're not on mic, by the way. Well, we have some comments coming up. Some really good comments coming up in the chat. Okay. But my thing is, <laughs> wait, 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 I want McGregor and two hundred five live from Alex. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't even the one that I was looking at from the chat. It was uh, AJ's. Um, but no, my, my comment is Asuka. Nobody can touch her. Right. So right. how would, how would she fare? If Bobby's worried about Asuka. <laughs> you hear that moment back Asuka. there. What's Asuka that? can take care of herself. <laughs> sure. That is true. I, 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 that could be interesting. I, I don't, I don't know how much of a legit fighter she is though. You know, she's badass in the <laughs> ring, but you know, I don't know. I don't know if that translates. But, but it'd, it'd be, be interesting. interesting just if she's to half see that. as badass yeah. in person, yeah. then great. Yeah, I love it. But uh, yeah, that could be fun. That could definitely be fun. Uh, what about uh, Billy? Do you have one? Um. Well, Conor McGregor. I would like to see that because he's he's good on the mic. On, in two hundred five live, right? Mm, yeah. <laughs> no, not two. No, no, not two hundred five live. I can. He'd be great in the Attitude Era. Yeah, because I, I don't mean, think he can keep it clean on the mic. No, mm-hmm. no he can't. <laughs> He'd be dropping f bombs left and right. That's and what half I mean. the time like, those shows were taped anyway, so it works yeah. better for you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, but I can see Conor McGregor. Uh, Nate Diaz would be another good pick because oh. the the rivalry that he had with McGregor, it was th- that right there. Just them talking to each other and bad mouthing each other. That's what really got me into that. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, that was uh, the. I think it was the second fight that they had. It was it was the only USC pay per view I bought because of that, because mm. of all the interviews and the crap that they throw at each other. It was it was great. Was, was that the one? Did did McGregor lose the first one? I think, I think this... I forget because because the one UFC show I saw was the one where he lost, and then it was I think it was the same one where like Holly Holm lost right after beating Rousey or something like that. It was like a couple shows past that. But it was that's like the one show I've seen yeah, <laughs> from like right. a year and a half ago. I don't know where McGregor lost. Yeah, I wasn't yeah. sure if it was the second one or not. Yeah. You guys are talking McGregor and AJ just mentioned McGregor 316. Oh, actually, there, there's some there's some good McGregor affiliation McGregor. comments happening. Yeah. So so uh, yeah, McGregor's 316. McGregor would have been a, a member of DX from uh, from Ryan out there. Um, uh, a side note: Alex wants uh, Oscar in, in, in Bellator. I don't know a context for that one. I just know it's a different promotion. It's a, it's um, light. What's that? It's a UFC light. Uh, yeah, I, UFC light. But maybe like, she can just yeah, like totally like, wreck her way through that, that and become a name there, and then be a bigger. Well, <laughs> you know, like beater, <laughs> be, and then she just hang out by the pool. But, but, but and, no, I mean, like become a bigger deal that way when she does go to like UFC. It's she's a killer. <laughs> You know. She's trying to find competition. It just goes to Bellator to find so, it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Knocked out in ten seconds. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, what's that, Brandon? Uh, Cor- Corbin or Owens to the UFC? <laughs> no, no. Hey, I mean, what Corbin is a le- is a legitimate football player. Owens, I think he uh, was Golden Gloves too. And McGregor, or, I think he was a four time winner. <laughs> McGregor yeah. and, and Bobby, this is with you off air. Bobby and Bobby uh, uh, McGregor and CM Punk to WWE. That was my answer, CM Punk. Yeah, CM Punk. CM Punk to <laughs> WWE. I think we CM can Punk. all agree on CM Punk to WWE oh, yeah. from the UFC. Yeah. I mean, I mean, it just seems like a. Already made crossover. Although I, I do have another, and again, I think we were talking about well because we were mentioning him during the break. I think I'd like to see somebody like Pete Dunn go to go to UFC because oh, yeah. he seems like just like a straight up just legit thug that would you know, and I, I and like, he's he's what twenty three, twenty four, so he's been wrestling for like twenty years already. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so it's like it'd be nice to you know, you know this is when most people are retiring. I, I would pay to see uh, <laughs> <UFC card then. laughs> 
<laughs> Can we submit somebody from New yeah. Japan? <laughs> no, well, no, uh, half of those guys, like Bobby I'm Fish, a- is a legit like MMA person that that crossed over, like, that did both simultaneously in Japan. You know, what the Stone Pitbull, Ishi? I don't know. Ishi. Oh, Ishi. Ishi. I yeah. can see that. Okay. Oh, I thought you. Said, I, right. I was thinking Pitbull, like he oh, of the many WWW <laughs> appearances. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> Pitbull, the singer. Yes, yeah. I want to see him. <laughs> yeah. And technically, he is a WWE superstar because he was all over WrestleMania. That's right. Oh, that's he'll be right. a Hall of Famer eventually. There you go. Wait, wait, sure. wait, 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 wait. Let's settle this down because <laughs> Cesaro to Just UFC. Ooh. If anybody's okay. a legitimate badass, it has to be Cesaro. Mm. Right? Oh, yeah. I mean, um, and also there was another one in here. Mad Mike was throwing out four horsewomen versus four horsemen at. Survivor Series yeah. from UFC WWE. Hmm. That could be fun. I could that. that could be a lot of fun. I, so. I think Sasha would get broke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She's a tough cookie. She's she a tough yes, cookie. But yes. She's like ninety she's pounds. Cookie. Yes. Did you did you give an answer? I'll, I'll, uh, no, but I'd say Samoa Joe. Samoa Joe? Yeah. It seems like he oh, would. Yeah. I, I was just thinking of how I'd like to see Bailey just become completely unhinged. During a, she needs during, to do during that. A she needs to with, do that yeah. now. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Lesnar could go back. Could be going back. Lesnar threatened to leave the company if he loses the title. Rusev yeah, yeah. probably be pretty could good be too. A, Rusev, yeah, he'd be a fun one. Hmm. Rusev Machka. Oh, I just I just saw the comment, yeah. Mister Three Hundred Five on Two Hundred Five Live. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mister Three Hundred Five. <laughs> Tony Nese's abs. <laughs> just in the UFC, just his, abs. his abs alone. <laughs> just, just his abs. Maybe yeah. his it's just a torso, just swinging away. <laughs> <laughs> Neville. floating torso, basically. Oh, Tony Neville would be a beast. <laughs> jeez. Uh, well, on that note, uh, jeez. Um, well, so let us know, uh, you guys, uh, uh, what uh, you would like to see out on Twitter and on the comments to this on our Facebook and our YouTube page. Uh, who you like to see crossover too? So, uh, this week, was it this week that Shane McMahon went down in a helicopter? Last <laughs> couple weeks ago. Was it a couple that weeks? Was, was it a couple weeks? Did we yeah. not talk about that on here? A couple weeks ago, man. Hmm. I think it might have been like, no, it might have been last I week. I feel like it was last week. It was like last remember. week after the show, though. Yeah, yeah. So, so Shane McMahon. I think, I don't know. Crashed, crashed it in the water, was recovered. He's fine. Obviously, he's fine. He was on SmackDown tonight. And uh, and I love just the one clip I saw. Somebody asked, like, "Are you Vince McMahon's son?" It's like, "Yes, I am." It's like, "Oh, oh, somebody, somebody asked me this." Ask, ask that. They it's told just, me to ask. Like, that. <laughs> they told me to ask that. It's just <laughs> like, come on. Um, but uh, showing uh, how badass he is. So, um, you have a pick. Oh, you said I you said, said yeah. You said a pick. McGregor, yeah. McGregor, Diaz. Awesome. So, um, from there, uh, I don't know. I, I, I didn't really have anything else to touch on. <laughs> Here's another comment from Tina. She Anderson Silva to the WWE. Ooh. What's that? Uh, Anderson Silva to the WWE. Anderson Silva to WWE. Okay. I, I, I like that. He's a showman as well. So like, that would mm-hmm. be good on camera? Yeah, he would, yeah. he would be good on camera. He mess, he's messes with people in the octagon. He just Can he walk? Didn't he, wasn't he the guy that snapped his leg into? I was like, oh, was three Shell Son- Sonnen would have been yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, he's WWE fine. Time too. Shell Sonnen, is that his name? Who's that? Shell Sonnen. Uh, Doesn't he Chelsea. do like commentary now? I mean, I know who it is. Yeah, like I said, I don't really watch. It. I know him mostly from like podcasts and commentary and stuff. I think it'd be funny. Joe Rogan would be in a WWE. Yeah. Joe Rogan. Like as a commentator? Uh, or, yeah. or just as Joe Rogan, I guess. <laughs> I, 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 I well, know. well, you know, if they if they would have been doing the guest host thing like 10 years earlier, you know, like the, the yeah, Joe Rogan. when, when he was guy. on news radio, you know, it would have been oh, like, geez. oh, yeah, like the fifth most important person on a, on a sitcom. Joe Rogan. <laughs> They'll be hosting <laughs> Raw next week, you know. Having him on there would be like having us another Peter Rosen, whatever. They're very similar. Like talking Rosenstein. Yeah. Uh, that was Rosenstein. I, that's how I feel. Like the way that, Rosenberg. Well, they're, they're both the like radio personality. I mean, he does like TV, like sports commentating. But 
I don't know. I, I just feel like they have similar um, commentating styles. Yeah, a bit. A bit. Um, I, I kind of had a little bit of a reaction last night. I am sorry, I'm playing I'm playing somebody else's face. Why why is this playing? Bobby, what are you doing to my phone? Uh I didn't do anything. I kinda had a little bit of a reaction. I started thinking about it a little bit. Because there was a question that they threw an answer out in thirty seconds uh on bring it to the table of are there too many wrestling podcasts? Nope. <laughs> do, okay, here's the next question. Do we do too many wrestling podcasts? Uh, and, and, and and actually, I wanted to. Point, this is a weird, this is very. This is very self self chat here. And I know I know a few of us here like listen to some of the wrestler podcasts, right? And other, I guess, fan podcasts. I mean, is it really just kind of two distinctions, right? There's the wrestler people in the business podcast, and there's the mm-hmm. kind of fans talking about wrestling. Is the indie interview podcast a separate thing maybe I, I, I don't know i guess that all kind of rolls together um but i you know what do you guys think i mean there's definitely a lot out there anybody can start talking about wrestling on a mic which is kind of the the beauty of of podcasting i feel uh you know do you feel kind of overwhelmed i guess with uh with what's out there right now or or is there just too much garbage or or you know i, I think maybe like I kind of, you know, like you, you kind of pick your favorites for mm-hmm. maybe the type of wrestling podcast, you know, like mm-hmm. for instance, people I, have I, a lot of different, dis- different kinds of discussions. Yeah. Like, like say listening to, um, you know, like Chris Jericho's, he's still active. Plus he's worked with everybody and yeah. everywhere. And, and it's, it isn't wrestling specific, you know, although it is, you know, predominantly wrestling, but he has other guests on, but, but then I also listen to, uh, Tony Schiavone's show and he's got again like he's pretty much the show he does only he can really do because it's all about those kind of those years announcing in WCW and then you have different personalities like that that have different shows and I guess it might kind of depend on who you were following at the time or what shows you were watching you know but I don't feel like like there's yeah I don't listen to all of them <laughs> so so I, I couldn't say oh yeah there's too many many shows and, to, and, to know how how often you know if they repeat themselves right, too right. much or if they're covering too much of the same and it, it is it is nice to see different kinds of shows like jericho's mm-hmm. show is very different than stone a, cold's yet kind of the same because they're on the same network and they seem to push a certain kind of format but they're from different eras too right kind of, right. Kind of in a way you know? right right and different experiences one went to japan and mexico and all this stuff and mm-hmm. stone cold did a different path, you know, the very different. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then even and I know Larry, you listen to the Jericho podcast. No, I'm sorry, the, the Ed Christian Edgy podcast, Christian ones which is from both of those, very different. Yeah, I feel and yeah. and very entertaining on its own. Yeah, and they're doing interesting things like anatomy of a match, where they're getting like what they had Sean and, and Mick Foley on to talk mm-hmm. about their their mind mm-hmm. games match, which is like yeah. that was a cool breakdown and something that they broke down. Uh, injuries on this last one did they like just talking about like how the injuries like you know just affect um you know just like the the trajectory of your career and stuff like that and they're like talking about um, you know just various injuries they've had and stuff like that mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, but but i think yeah like like you said if you get you know as long as it's different people talking about different things or having different angles on it it's like you know, there's some stories where it's like, wow, the story never gets old because when you hear it from everybody's, you know, perspective, it kind of builds a bigger, you know, thing around it. But if you had like ten guys all trying to talk about the exact same thing, you'd be like, yeah, yeah, yeah I'm only going to listen. You know, <laughs> it's the better ones are kind of kind of float to the top, and and the others will kind of not necessarily go away. But, right, right, and and, yeah. and everybody, you know, is kind of taking that a lot of that vein that Colt, Colt started, mm-hmm. of course. Um, but, uh, but sorry, do the chat room. Mm-hmm. Um, and well, so, so how, you know, that uh, Billy, what do, do you listen to podcasts or are you, are you is there any, any um, in your rotation? I, I'm starting to, I've like, I've been listening to edge and Christian's podcast recently. Mm-hmm. Um, not like the most recent ones, a couple of them here and there. Um, but I, I've been trying to get on the podcasting. Like when it comes to podcasts, there can never be enough because everyone has a different opinion. Yeah. So, hey, I, I can make a podcast. I'd be like, yeah, Billy Rock's been here. You could. You could. <laughs> We're going to have on later this week, uh, Matt Connard, uh, the Reaper Matt Connard. Right. Has, yeah, that's, a, that's another podcast, one. right? 
Um, so, I mean, people at different levels of their career. BC Steel has a freaking podcast, guys. Right. <laughs> it's a very, but some very great conversations on it. By the way, shout outs to it. Um, <laughs> one S, one FS podcast on on the Twitter. Um, so, uh, no, no, you actually had a really good discussion with Marcus Pan a couple weeks ago that I really, really enjoyed. Um, so, shout outs to that. So, and which brings it to another point. So, you have like your Stone Cold level stuff. You have maybe your indie guy uh level stuff and then you have i guess what we do you know or what we watch wrestling does which is one i listen to right as as yeah i guess one of the guys maybe wrote for wwe for a minute and everything and they are like comedians that work in hollywood so more people know them but i consider that more of a fan podcast than anything yeah, I agree with that. like it like it, it absolutely is it's you know and and, and I, I gravitate towards that because i feel like it's that like love of wrestling conversation that I feel like we try to do here. Um, just a little bit of a different vein and they're a little bit more just naturally funnier. Uh, but, um, and and kind of like when you bring up that too, it's like, you know, they, like they talk like the, we watch wrestling podcast. They talk about PWG a lot. Right. So it's like, Oh, right. if you're interested in PWG, that's a hook. We, you know, we, talk, we talk about, about Pittsburgh. We talk about Cleveland. IWC and RWA, yeah. you know, and, and have people in from there. So know? there's at least something to kind of set, to set you apart. A little different. And, yeah. and, 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 and I don't want to discourage anybody from starting one. Yeah. There's plenty out there. And, I got to say, it's probably the hardest time if you're going to get a lot of listeners <laughs> right now, um, because it is. We we benefit from being one of the first. I don't know how many people that are on this show and contribute regularly say, yeah, I found you because I was on X service, typed in wrestling, and you were like on the first page, right? Because this didn't happen 10 years ago, right? Mm -hmm. um, now... And, and we're still like very different than like the Justin Labar conversation, right? That we watch wrestling conversation, um, and 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 I think there's a space for everybody to do their version of um, a wrestling show. There's somebody that actually asked me about they were starting a show, and they're like, hey, "I'm looking for any advice," and I was just like, "Talk about wrestling the way you want to talk about wrestling, and you'll find the people that like to talk about it that way. The people that want to talk about five star matches and three stars and two stars and and really digging down into that." They have an audience. They're going to find each other, right? And and I'm hoping we do too and wrestling and everything like that. Well, I think that one of the biggest things is you can even talk about the same content, but there's a different voice to it. Mm -hmm. So look at the comparison between like our show, for instance, and Justin LaBar's show. Two completely different formats, two completely different voices, two completely different podcasts. Some people prefer our style. Some people prefer his style. Some people listen to both just because they love wrestling that much. They just want to listen and and hear what each has to say. So I think that it's kind of dependent on what you're interested in, what content you're you're looking for, as well as what they're talking about specifically and how they're saying it. Absolutely. So that's my opinion. Even like Marty and Sarah, they do a completely different improv based comedy <laughs> podcast it's interesting i love the idea of the concept bobby but bobby i mm -hmm. gave it like like i gave it a couple of shots at that show and i just cannot get into that it wasn't it just wasn't my bag and i know it's like yeah. completely up your alley right it's it's more it's definitely more comedy based oh absolutely like, yeah. it was it, it was they were like create i i, I think maybe i dropped in the right one because they were doing like fake battle royal or something like that where they're making yeah, up characters. That, one, that one wasn't there it, was a lot of characters like I, I feel like that, there was probably a lot of inside jokes i was absolutely yeah you gotta listening. you gotta listen for sweet ryback sweet <laughs> <laughs> All right, there's some gold in there somewhere. Uh, I... Well, so that sounds amazing already. <laughs> I, I, I forget. Was yeah. one of you? We'll, we'll talk about it after. We'll talk about. Was that Rob? I was gonna say I can't remember if it was one of you guys or maybe it was Riz. I was talking about. There's this podcast called How to Wrestling. That's pretty good. It's co-hosted by. There's another podcast called the Attitude Era Podcast where it's. Mm -hmm. I, I forget if they're we, Scottish yeah, or yeah, Irish. Uh, Eamon's talked to me yeah. about this a lot. And, and it was and the How to Wrestling is a spinoff yeah. where it's one of those hosts and like his girlfriend where they're going through a lot of that stuff for like her first time, you know. And as the show's been going on, she's kind of learning more more about it. And you're seeing a lot of you know, like they'll do episodes on specific guys and pick out like say five matches from the mm -hmm. history of their career. And it's kind of interesting. You know, as somebody that does know 
a lot of that to kind of kinda revisit like, it. And that's that. what happens a lot on We Watch Wrestling is there's those guys that have had their involvement or watching of wrestling for years. Mm-hmm. And then they had the one guy that's about like three years deep into pro wrestling, mm-hmm. like watching, period. <laughs> and it's like, so, oh, that's where that comes from. Or that's why, you know. Right, the, right. Yeah. So something, okay, well, they're a little more deprecating to to him on his experience level of wrestling, mm-hmm. to be quite honest. And he's, like, and he's like, I don't care. I just watch it. You yeah, know, yeah, like exactly. Just, yeah, yeah, you're going to bust my balls, whatever. Yeah. But he, no, but he yeah. tries. So <laughs> yeah. it's like. He's getting yeah. better. He is getting better with it. He's knowing some stuff, and but he's like so over proud when he knows about stuff, you know. Like, oh, that's the guy that did this and this and this, you know. I, saw, I watched that <laughs> on the network last night you know, on a collection they put up, you know, kind of thing. So, Short like, watching him connect the dots mm-hmm. on some of those. So, um, so, so to answer, are there too many wrestling podcasts? No, no, there might be too many for you to watch. Stick with what you like. Uh, <laughs> And of course, I mentioned BC Steel's podcast, and he pops into the chat almost immediately. It's almost like he knew it's what like we were talking it's about. Like his ears are. It's like oh. he's got a. <laughs> yeah. what, what you told him? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I see. We got a, We got a leak here. Mm. We got a mayhem show leaker here. Missy leaks. No. That's right. That's right. <laughs> what? We had somebody join the conversation because of it. I did my job right. <laughs> you can, Missy, keep on producing. Producer missing, keep on that producing. All right. Uh, well, guys, it's time to find out what did we learn from wrestling this week. Bobby of J-Town. Um, I learned that it was new WWE Music Week. Oh. Um, there were so many new songs this week. Uh, Jason Jordan got a new song. Um, Seth Rollins got a new remix. Um. Who else got a new Cass, song? Um, Cass um, um, uh, the Usos got a remix tonight. Um, uh, Chad Gable got custody of American Alpha's theme. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and um, Jason Jordan gets it every other weekend unless there's a SmackDown pay-per-view. Then it, it, it goes back to oh, there's Chad. A, maybe there's a holiday. So, <laughs> and, 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 and yeah, and, and yeah, I just learned it was new WWE Music Week. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, what about you, Rob? What'd you learn from wrestling this week? Um, I, I, yeah, I'm not sure. Oh, come back to me on that on that one. <laughs> Really um, Mad Mike is in the chat, I'm and he says to verbalize it. He learned that Corey Corey listens to us because mm-hmm. uh, because he told Peter Rosenberg to to put on a damn suit. By the way, when he was going through when 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 Corey was going through the podcast that he listens to, mm-hmm. I'm just like anime am show, anime am show, say the man. You know, that's one of those words that they can't say on air. Um, Alex also learned that 205 Live is actually worth watching. Thanks, Sorgan Mad Mike. Alex Cars, he was on our he was on our midweek war last week for the first time. He also watched 205 Live for the first time last week. The first time ever. And it was interesting <laughs> to kind of like he's like, I don't understand this, and because he's dropping right into mm-hmm. all those storylines last week, right? It, it was probably not a great jumping on moment. No, that was that that week wasn't the yeah. best. We <laughs> but he's completely it. on board with it now, yeah, so it's good to good. see that. Uh, Tina says, C- CFO money putting that work in, LOL. <laughs> so, uh, What about you, Billy? What did you learn from wrestling this week? Um, I learned in wrestling this week that if you wrestle in 90-degree weather and outside and you don't put sunscreen on, you do get sunburned. Oh, no. Like just in the <laughs> match, oh. during the course of the one match? Yeah. How long were you out there? <laughs> well, I'm also I'm also very white. And <laughs> uh, okay, okay. Yeah, I'm very yeah, I'm like I'm like half ginger. <laughs> I'm all if you're on the audio, like... if you're on the audio, he is not one of those tanned wrestlers. No. <laughs> Don't use the <laughs> Not at all. Yeah. But like other than that, like the new WWE music week, I've definitely noticed that as well. Mm-hmm. Like I look on Spotify and there's like five new things. I'm like, what? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Absolutely. They're, they're working hard. Um, I, I learned it's fun to play who's that mu- WWE theme with a kid on the way to a wrestling show. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I, I just realized, yeah, I learned that no one at WWE watched the third third hour of Raw. No, either, no, 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 or no, else no, they wouldn't no. have allowed that. To no, happen. there was a lot of angry drunk people <laughs> around me. Um, I also learned that a lot of people in my section know the words to every WWE theme, including the Raw theme song. Which was impressive. I didn't even know that. Most of them have words. I, he was singing every well, one of them. Well, I guess live you do hear more of the entrance music. Yeah. Than, than, than but with, I didn't even know yeah. Seth Seth had a remix. I didn't even notice it. 
Because didn't it have something at the beginning or something but, where it's like, and then it goes into it? Or, uh, to remember. be fair, there was. <laughs> I also learned the greatest feeling is when it's so loud in the arena, mm-hmm. which it was for the first two hours of Raw. Then it was so quiet in the arena. Um, but uh, it, it was so loud in the arena that you can't hear the announcements on the speakers or the interview on the speakers. Mm-hmm. That's impressive, and, and there was a lot of that. And didn't you compare it to, like, as far as being like that loud and that sustained? That you mentioned the the twenty fourteen Royal Rumble with mm. Batista, <laughs> like oh. that. I did on the stream. Like, like, I was like, like, like as loud or as you know, because yeah, I'm like, I've that. never heard it that loud for that sustained thing. Then I thought for a second, like, except for that time we were booing Batista. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sorry, like, Dave. Like that or, ten minute or, stretch or so, it, or booing oh, Rey Mysterio when oh, he was yeah. thirty oh. for for the crime of being Rey Mysterio. I, <laughs> <laughs> no, it yeah. wasn't because no, 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 he was Rey no, Mysterio. Not, well, yeah, of not it's because being Daniel he Bryan. Daniel Bryan. Yeah. I think we should all go to Steel City Con and and apologize to Rey Mysterio. Listen, this listen, apologize as a city. It is, <laughs> like, look, dude, we didn't mean it. If that played any, it wasn't any, you. It's any us. hand of you leaving. I, and, yeah. I will pay for an autograph. I'm not really here for a picture. I am just here to apologize apologize from the last time you were here at the royal rumble yeah it's not you it's us it's, uh, it's not you it's us <laughs> yeah. i was in the crowd it's like yeah. you're number 30 in my book i, I was in the crowd <laughs> i personally yeah. was not offended <laughs> but but i was there to, and to me you won the royal rumble. i gotta yeah. say <laughs> to me you were the real winner yeah because it wasn't the people um yeah. oof. i know i want to get back to the chat room i'm just just you know over here feeling bad for Rey Mysterio. So, you know, <laughs> at least he's got some great matches filmed a year ago we're about to see. And now uh, we can call the episode Booyaka Booyaka 619. Yeah. Yes, we can. <laughs> Booyaka Booyaka. One, we six, so, nine. Booyaka, I'm so sorry. Yeah. Um, so Larry, did you go yet? No. It'd be great if everybody was expecting Daniel Bryan to be at the Steel City Con. <laughs> just, yeah. no, 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 it'd be great if so like, like, it was Rey Mysterio, yeah. but it were really Daniel yeah, Bryan. Everybody has out. a Daniel Bryan photo to get him to sign. Yeah, just. Jeez. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> like, Take your mask you off. Daniel. Yeah, just, uh, I know you're under there, Daniel. Our chin, we want Daniel. <laughs> yeah. Daniel. It's really Son of Havoc. Yeah. Just. <laughs> <laughs> Does Son of Havoc just have a side gig just being Rey Mysterio at signings when he can't make <laughs> Just to make a few extra Being a Rey fun. Mysterio, yeah, Daniel like, Bryan crossover. Wait, did you do your yeah. thing yet? <laughs> Larry. Um, I, okay, what can you tell us that you learned in wrestling this week? I learned that the LED stage is very durable. <laughs> and that <laughs> um, Carl Anderson and Zach and uh, Kurt Hawkins are bros. They're good um, brothers, right? They're, they're good brothers. They're, great, they're good brothers. They're good brothers. Good brothers. All I mean. right. I think that was everybody right from the chat room. We have... Uh, oh, 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 there we go. Uh, the, I lost everything. They're, they're talking about 205 Live. <laughs> Ryan Keener. Ryan Keener. Okay. He has, has a question for Billy. You only learned that you would sunburn like that this week. So there's that comment. I think involved. He was the referee in the match, so. But I'm, I'm just saying. <laughs> what is with Black Diamond and all these outside shows? Yeah, I was gonna say it was probably hey, it, the, the outside. Roof, <laughs> it was texture. it was weird because like we had a fence and everybody was like thirty feet that way under the shade. <laughs> I had I, uh, I had to run over and I was like, "Why are you over here?" There was one time the second baseball for IWC. I think I think it's on indie wrestling, and it's uh, in the parking lot because it was too wet in the in the, in the thing. But it was a black <laughs> mat. Oh, and yeah. I think Kentai. Every time he went and took a bump, he would react to the heat. <laughs> it was it was pretty funny. Yeah, that was that was the first match. It was just like, oh, it's so hot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like, oh, that's the worst. And it is, it's always it always ends up being a black mat out there too. Uh, so I always feel bad when I see that on an outside show. Um, did you find the rest of the discussion. I think I did. I, I saw that Wheels learned that 2K18 is doing a great job on new entrances. AJ Styles is awesome. I can't wait for you know we get the we get carl i I personally i can't wait for uh anderson and gallows with like a bella entrance or something when that video goes on youtube uh billy likes eating trees is that for the interview oh yeah that that i got i got thrown in the two trees for my match did you get brandy (laughs) yeah all right we're gonna talk we're gonna have a fun interview (laughs) here in a couple of minutes Um, just so you know (laughs) brandon brandon was something about special edition 2k18 with cena 
No, it was no. Uh, Big Cass's music sounds like remix to Punk's music. Oh, okay. And oh, on another note, he too. learned that uh, WWE doesn't care about their ratings because if they did, they would have saved the triple threat match till the end. I think, I really think there's a more complicated ratings discussion going on there than than we understand. And did, it's so. weird anybody... because they're not competing with anybody anymore. Yeah. So I can see why you wouldn't give a shit about what... No, <laughs> you know, no, is, you're is, competing is, uh... with everything yeah. now yeah. not wrestling everything Which makes else you wonder, was there something we're on... a competitor to 205 technically yeah i hadn't thought about it but was there something on <laughs> some other channel last night at like 10 o'clock that was the bachelor okay thing. we're probably not the a ba- good competitor <laughs> <The bachelor. laughs> yeah. Freak brother i don't know I don't know. No, so Ron wanted Wednesdays. to be done with his match in and time Thursdays, to watch the finale. Sundays. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, that, that's really what it is, right? Um, <laughs> um, he needs to real watch quick, did anybody else yeah. think that Pac-Man was going to attack uh, Elias Samson last night? What? Who? I, I don't like Kalisto's former music. TNA tag team champion oh, oh, Pac-Man no. Jones. Kalisto's music is horrible. Well, yeah, I thought it's you meant terrible. Pac-Man Jones. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, <laughs> who else is? Who else was I getting? Was there another comment? Okay, maybe not. Uh, anyways, on that note, <laughs> uh, I'm just catching some of these. Tony Savani will podcast for food. <laughs> Brownies, remember? <laughs> That's great. Um, yeah, Savani's doing podcasts too. I didn't expect that. It's guy really to come entertaining. Back to wrestling. Is it? Yeah, it's, What's it's he a lot of fun. What's he do? He he uh, he goes back to like old moments or something, right? Well, they co- like every the, the like the theme of every show is usually they'll vote on. Something like, hey, here's four different shows from like 1994 or mm-hmm. something like that. And then sometime during the week, like on Twitter, they'll, they'll, they'll pull everybody on what one they want them to talk about. And then on Monday, it'll it'll be about that. And most of these he hasn't rewatched, you know, in like since 20 odd so, years. Yeah. Like he experienced it and that, and that was it. Yeah. And then they if ask him his it, insight, like, like backstage, what the hell was going on? And usually he's like, well, not usually, but sometimes he's like, Hell, I don't know. <laughs> if he didn't call it the greatest podcast in the history of our sport, he really dropped the ball. Mm. Well, he addressed that pretty early in the in the run of. Okay. <laughs> of a, he's like, I really didn't say that as much as, but 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 so, but at the end when he was saying that, like in two thousand two thousand one, it was because he was just so sick of everything. I, I and do. It was just a, <laughs> I do like. I do like something like that. It sounds like something I can jump on. Yeah. Like from the beginning mm-hmm. and just roll with, you know, and, versus like. You know, I don't care about what Jericho did going to Anthrax with his son mm-hmm. <laughs> before I get to the interview I really want to listen to. Which know. which they do talk about like different like he is get you know, you know, he's like, Wow, it turns out I actually did miss wrestling, you know, and he's been going to more good, good, shows good, good. and conventions and things and then people have, you know, started approaching him more about that and he's like, Wow, it turned out I really do enjoy talking about this <laughs> after being away from it for so long. Yeah, absolutely. All right, guys. We'll continue the discussion. Um, I will answer some of these questions off air. You guys can be a part of that too. Tuesday nights at 10 p.m. Eastern time at uh, Wrestling Mayhem Show's Facebook page or directly through on live.wrestlingmayhemshow.com. Thank you to our guests that we're going to get here on the Indie Mayhem Show. Billy Ruxpin for joining us. No problem. He's Billy Ruxpin on the Twitters. Yes, Twitter. Where, where else people get at you? Instagram and Facebook. There you go. All the same thing. There you go. You too will believe the imaginary wrestler can bake in the sun. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what a lesson is from this from our conversations. I didn't show. really have anything else but that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's basically it, right? I was just I mean, like, yeah, all right. Nice sunburn. Woohoo. Well, there's a preview <laughs> yeah. of this interview. Uh, <laughs> Bobby FJ Tan, of course, on the Twitters. Larry doesn't do social media that he's going to tell you about right now. <laughs> That's your outro now. Uh, find pictures like that on the couch with the sexy, talented dudes can be found at this, any show that the sexy, talented dudes <laughs> happen to be booked on. <laughs> or even just walking by on the sidewalk. Or just be like, with, hey, man. And with various up? members just kind of mixed and matched into the different, you know. Why doesn't photos? the sexy, talented dudes have like an Etsy shop or something? Like, I feel like that makes a lot of sense with the like, you know. Because nobody wants to buy STDs on Etsy. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, there's a lot of people <laughs> at their booth all the time. That's what I'm saying. A lot. So like you're saying everybody wants to get the STDs in person. What's that? Everybody STDs. wants to get with the STDs in person. That's right. Absolutely. Of course, Ringside Rob. You can see him ringside at the IWC shows <laughs> from time to time uh-huh. in a bright yellow shirt. And uh, actually, no, we switched that up. I try to wear the black one. You know, I'll, I'll, 
yeah yeah it's yeah usually people don't notice he as much out there yeah yeah so <laughs> so you won't see him <laughs> so you won't see him although we haven't had people complaining so much lately He's about us being in the way. it's psychological man <laughs> yeah. it's like yeah put a bright yellow shirt on me you're gonna notice i'm in your way more yeah. right so plus there isn't the one weird. guy at all the ID- has that guy been at the iwc shows that let's has- not talk about this on the air okay all yeah. right uh thank you we'll see you guys <laughs> next time mayhem show out This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.